I play Jazz Mitra in Gorilla. Um, Marcus Hill. And I play Marcus Hill. Yeah. And um, why did I want to do the show? Um, got many, many, many reasons, but one of them, well, the topmost being that as a, and I don't want to make this about the male actor and the female actor, but it's the truth, so I have to say it. Mm. Uh, as female actors, we rarely come upon roles where we are celebrated for our, our beauty and, our, and, and the ugliness of it all, which I think is beautiful. And sometimes the flaws are masked by the superficiality of, of everything is perfect, the Puritan woman, and I'm, was quite sick and tired of even reading roles like that, you know, or where the only thing uh, a female character in a whole script says, help me. <laughs> and I was like, I don't Jazz need... doesn't say that. Uh, Jazz doesn't say help me, which probably is a problem. She should say help me sometimes. It's like, just <laughs> calm down. More. But um, no, but it was very, very important for me to be able to play a character who is um, quite certain of her voice and lets it build uh, over the many episodes. And obviously, the second reason for me is John Ridley. Um, and the third reason is Babu Sisei. Yeah. <laughs> so you like the order of it? I love it. No. I think I should come top, but let's not worry <laughs> about that now. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I think it's, it, the main thing is the material. Um, it's a time in history that hasn't really been looked at, and British history specifically. Um, in fact, we met a group of journalists, and one of them said, you know, as a black Brit, he was. Um, I, I feel like this part of history has never been looked at, and I'm really glad that it is. Um, and it's so relevant to what's happening today in the world. So we're not going to shove it down anybody's throat. They get to watch it. It's set in the 70s. Um, however, I think they're going to make links, which, which would be interesting. Well, I hope they, hope they do. No, I think they will, because yeah. it's, it's quite apparent that even though it's 2016, the same things that we fight for today, identity, um, um, our right to be who we want to be, our right to a job and equal pay, mm -hmm. somehow or the other, it's the same things that people spoke about in 1971. Yeah, police and brutality. It was police brutality, Black Lives Matter, Brexit, mm -hmm. and it's, it's world over, you know. Uh, that's one of the things that I think is fantastic about Gorilla, that even though it is set in England, there's a universal theme of um, um, of identity, love, yeah, um, um, hope, you know, hope, and it's it's for me, it's about a relationship. At, at the, the center of it, it is a relationship. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what makes it. That's what's going to make it possible for anyone to relate to it. It's not just going to be about a cause. At the center of it, there is this um, relationship that's up against it in a very very harsh environment. I feel like I'm, I'm going to have trouble leaving Gorilla and going to anything else from now on. In fact, we've all been saying that, yeah. I, I said to him when we were coming towards the. No, this was a scene that we. He let me do again, remember? Oh, yeah. I don't want to say anything about yeah. it, but he had his instinct and he listened to me and, you know, let me do the scene again. And I said to him, Could I please request you to write my rom coms, my comedies, <laughs> all my action films that I want to do, all my TV shows, everything from now on, because I don't think I can, I can even look at another script again and go, uh, you know, it's not all there, but it's okay, I'll take it on, because literally this came to us as a complete package. And um, one of our, uh, our co-stars uh, who plays Dahari, Nathaniel Martello White, um, termed it as NAR, yeah. no acting required. Because <laughs> in the scene, it just flows. Yeah. yeah. It just feels Short. like we are talking like you and I are talking. And um, he's helped us actually with through rehearsals, really embody our characters. Mm. And, you know, he's really passionate about what he's doing. So, and, and even though he's American, telling, a, telling part of British history, um, um, it's not like he is struggling or trying to get his bearings right. He's mm. all there yeah. at every point in time because at the end of the day, he knows history, political backdrop, great. The people who actually are in the mix are not just numbers, they're real people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we were given an extensive list of books to get through. And not only that, I mean, there's, you know, videos you can watch. Um, so 
some of the characters that we're quite close to in terms of, um, like Farouk, for instance. Farouk Dondi. Dondi, who um, Marcus is kind of based on in some ways because he's a teacher and yeah. so on and so forth. And I was able to, we were able to meet him. There's several a book called times, London you know. Company, yeah. which we highly recommend. Highly to recommend. It's even a great read anyway. Yeah, read. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. But um, it's incredible. Some of the things that were happening at that time in, in, in London, in the UK. Yeah. Things that we actually had no idea even existed. And yes. um, sometimes we got really angry reading the material and sometimes <laughs> yeah. And sometimes we found ourselves feeling frustrated, but we you know, despondency has never led to anything good in life. So yeah. we realized that if we are put in the series to, to do something, then let's tell this story without letting frustration mm. and anger you know, the anger is not a bad thing if you channel it right. That's Use the way it in the work. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah.